Hello students, I am Dr. Aruna Palta. Today we will be discussing a very interesting topic which I think everyone should know about. I hope all of you will agree with me that for vegetarians, nuts are a very reliable source of proteins and along with oil seeds, they are a rich source of fats too. What are the different types of nuts and oil seeds? What are their nutritional contributions? How can they be used for culinary purposes? And are there any anti-nutritional or toxic substances present in them? To know all about this today, we will discuss this module on nuts and oil seeds in detail. This module will surely help you to understand the concept of nuts and oil seeds, to know about their various types, to know their nutritive value in terms of macro and micronutrients, to learn about their uses in food preparation and to know about the toxic factors present in some types of nuts and oil seeds. Dear students, botanically speaking, nuts are one seeded indehiscent fruits which are obtained from plants and have a specific taste and flavor corresponding to each nut. They are either fruit or seed and consist of an edible fat containing kernel surrounded by a hard or brittle shell. Most of the time they are consumed as such but they are also used in various recipes as pastes, dried powders or simply as garnishing agents. Do you agree with me students? that nuts have been the food of man from earliest times and are especially important for the vegetarians as a good substitute for animal proteins. Oil seeds are those seeds which contain a high percentage of oil and are used for extraction of oil. After extraction of oil, the oil seeds yield an oil seed cake that is used as animal feed and nowadays also for human consumption as it is quite a rich source of protein as well as of other nutrients. Classification of nuts. Nuts have been classified on the basis of their composition. Nuts may, uh, may be classified into three classes. The first one is nuts with high amounts of fats. Examples of this class are almonds, cashew nuts and walnuts which contain 50% or more of fats. The second group is nuts with high amount of proteins. Examples of this group are groundnuts which contain about 25% proteins. Even almonds and pistachios they contain around 20% proteins and it has been observed that most of the protein rich nuts they contain high amount of fats also. The third category is nuts with high amounts of carbohydrates. This is a rare group. An example is chestnut which contains about 50% carbohydrates but it is relatively poor in proteins and fats. In the next few minutes I will explain you the nutritive value of nuts. Besides their rich taste, nuts are known for their very good nutritional value. Nuts and oil seeds are essentially rich in fats and hence are a concentrated source of calories. A handful of nuts can supply a large amount of energy. They are also excellent sources of good quality protein. Therefore, they are advisable for all age groups from children up to elderly. To render them digestible, they should be properly masticated and should be consumed in small quantities. For two small children and for elderly people, it is always better to use nuts in powdered form. Besides fats and proteins, nuts have other nutrients also. Nuts contain about 2% minerals with a good proportion of phosphorus and potassium, calcium, sodium, magnesium 
and iron are also present in some nuts. They are not good sources of carbohydrates and roughage. Exception is chestnut which has about 50% carbohydrate. They contain less than 5% of water. This only is the reason why they can be stored for long periods. They are good sources of B vitamins and groundnut is specially rich in thiamine as well as in nicotinic acid. Some nuts are excellent sources of vitamin E like almonds. Now this diagram is depicting the fat content or to be specific the different types of fats which are present in some popular nuts. The yellow color is depicting the polyunsaturated fat, the green color the monounsaturated fat, the red color the saturated fat and the purple color the other fats. So we can very well see that most of the nuts, popular nuts, they are rich in polyunsaturated fat and monounsaturated fat. While the saturated fat and other fat content of these nuts is quite low. For example, in walnut, the polyunsaturated fat is 72% and the monounsaturated one is 14%. In almonds, the polyunsaturated fat is low, which is 24%, but the monounsaturated fat content is 64%. Similarly, the common men's nut pecans, they have got 30% of polyunsaturated fat, while the monounsaturated fat content is 57%. Thus, we can say that all the nuts they are very rich in polyunsaturated and monounsaturated fat and this only is the reason why they are considered as healthy food. Now we will discuss about the uses of nuts in day to day life. Most of the nuts are eaten in the raw form example almonds, walnuts, groundnuts etc. To enhance flavor sometimes they are roasted, cooked, fried and salted. The modification in the oil part of the nuts on cooking and roasting brings about change in flavor making nuts more flavorful. They are used in preparation of number of Indian sweets like laddus, halwas and other sweetmeats. They are used to garnish a number of sweet and salty preparations. They are also used in the confectionery industry and are added in a variety of nut chocolates. Nuts are added to salads for taste as well as for nutritional enhancement. They are used as ingredients for stuffing meat products. Nuts can further be used in the flour form in the kitchen for value addition of various recipes. Nuts are cooked in sugar syrup and crystallized to prepare chickies. Nuts like coconut and groundnut are used for making chutneys and dips. Pastes made out of nuts are used as thickeners for different vegetable curries. Even flavored milk drinks are made out of nuts like pistachio and almonds. Peanut butter serves as a delightful spread for breads and bakery products. Oilseed cakes are used in weaning food for infants and even in multi-purpose food. Oil which is extracted from various nuts and oil seeds, it serves as a medium of cooking. Dear students, now we will talk about some nuts in detail which we generally use as such or for culinary and other purposes. Dear students, this colorful slide shows the different types of nuts and oil seeds which we generally use in our day to day life. This colorful slide shows that groundnut which is a common men's nut can be used as such 
in different recipes and in India a large amount of oil is extracted from groundnut. It is also known as peanut or monkey nut and is a common men's nut owing to its low price. Groundnut is the most important oil crop of India for the production of oil. Although it is of Brazilian origin, it grows well in tropical and warm regions. An interesting fact about it is that it grows below the ground and has to be dug out of soil at the time of harvest. The pods are dried after harvest and are cylindrical, resticulated, containing usually two to three nuts in a single pod. Inadequately dried nuts are likely to develop free fatty acids and give a bad flavor. Nutritionally, it is very rich in oil as well as proteins, although the protein is deficient in lysine and methionine amino acids. The proteins are easily digested and have high biological value. It is also a good source of B vitamins. 100 gram of groundnut contains 25.3 gram proteins, 40.1 gram fats, 2.4 gram minerals, 26.1 gram carbohydrates and 567 kilocalorie energy. Groundnuts are eaten as such, salted, cooked, boiled or roasted. They are also used in variety of sweet as well as salty preparations. Besides, they are also used for preparing groundnut flour, groundnut milk and peanut butter also. The next very popular nut is coconut. This is also common men's nut and it is used in various ways. It is used in the form of nut when tender. This uh, picture shows that the water of coconut is relished and even the sap which is taken out from the stem, this figure depicts it, it is used as an alcoholic beverage or it is used as a raw material for preparing jaggery. Dear students, now I will tell you in detail about coconut. The coconut tree is also called Kalpavriksh which means the tree providing all necessities of life. It is grown in the coastal regions of the world, primarily in India, Sri Lanka, Indonesia, Malaysia and Philippines. The edible portion of the nut is covered by inner shell which is surrounded by a fibrous husk outside. The coconut water present within the nut is a very refreshing as well as sterile drink. It is a source of minerals like potassium, calcium and phosphorus along with vitamin B complex and vitamin C. 100 grams of fresh coconut kernel contains 4.5 grams of proteins, 41.6 grams of fat, 1 gram of minerals, 13 grams of carbohydrates and a huge amount of energy that is 444 kilocalories. I would like to tell you students that coconut find its use in a number of ways. It has a high place in Hindu religious ceremonies. The fresh kernel is sometimes eaten directly but more often is grated and used for preparing sweets, curries and chutneys. The major use of coconut is in the manufacture of copra from which further coconut oil and coconut cake are obtained. Copra is available in two forms, ball copra and cup copra. Desiccated coconut is prepared from the white coconut kernel after removing its brown testa, shredding and then drying in a hot air dryer to below 2% moisture. Coconut sap obtained by tapping the stalk of young flower bunches of coconut 
is a rich source of sucrose and ascorbic acid. In fresh state, it is called sweet toddy or nira. On standing, fermentation takes place and about 4% alcohol develops in toddy. It is further distilled to produce arak with an alcohol percentage of 35. Jaggery is also obtained from the evaporation and concentration of coconut sap. Students, now I will discuss about a very prestigious nut that is almonds. You all know almonds are consumed in green state as well as in mature state. Now I will tell you in detail about almonds. Almonds are best cultivated in tropical and subtropical regions. There are two cultivated varieties of almond, the bitter almond which is generally used for oil extraction and the sweet almond. Kashmir, Himachal Pradesh and Uttar Pradesh are the main producer states of almonds in India. The almond kernels are eaten fresh as a dessert nut. Kernels are cleaned, dried, bleached, roasted, fried and salted for use. Nutritionally, almonds are rich in fat and protein. Chief protein is a globulin with low biological value but it is easily digestible. Protein content of bitter almond is higher than that of sweet almond. But the bitter almonds contain 2.5 to 3.5 percent of amygdalin which is a cyanogenetic glucoside not suitable for human consumption. Hence, bitter almonds are used only for oil extraction which is further used in the cosmetic and pharmaceutical industries. Now coming to the nutritive value of almonds, 100 gram of almonds contain 20.8 gram of proteins, 58.9 grams of fat, 2.9 grams of minerals, 10.5 grams of carbohydrates and a huge amount of calories that comes to 655 kilocalories. Almonds are also used in milkshakes, desserts, curries, gravies, vegetables, kheers, halwas and laddus. Students, now we will discuss about a rather expensive nut which is known as pistachio and generally exported from other countries to India. Pistachio is a very expensive nut which is grown on small deciduous tree native of Central Asia. It is not grown in India but is imported chiefly from Afghanistan. It is a green colored nut with a thin leathery jacket. The green color of the nut imparts its characteristic color to food preparations and gives them an attractive appearance. It is used as such, salted or in desserts, milkshakes, halwas, kheers, laddus, sweetmeats, confectionery and ice creams. Because of its high price, oil is not extracted from this nut. 100 gram of pistachio contains 19.8 gram of proteins, 53.5 grams of fats, 2.8 grams of minerals, 16.2 grams of carbohydrates and again a huge quantity of calories that is 626 kilocalorie as energy. Cashew nuts which are used as such as well as the cashew apple which is used for preparing a number of alcoholic beverages. Students, now we will learn something else about cashew nuts. India is the largest producer, processor and exporter of cashew nuts in the world. The fruit borne by the tree are called cashew apple which are succulent and bright yellow to orange in color. Attached 
to the apple is the cashew nut which is kidney shaped covered with a hard and shiny shell the nut contains an acrid juice which can burn the skin the kernels are roasted before use and the thin shell on the kernel is removed these nuts are eaten fresh roasted salted or even sugared it is widely used in milkshakes desserts curries gravies soups sweets and confectionery 100 g of cashew nut contains 21.2 g of proteins 46.9 g of fat 2.4 g of minerals 22.3 g of carbohydrates and 596 kcal energy its oil consists mostly of glycerides of oleic and linoleic acids the cashew apple owing to its high sugar content is fermented to manufacture alcoholic beverage known as kaju which is further distilled to prepare feni the cashew shell oil is used in paints and lacquers for waterproofing and preservation purposes students this is the picture of walnut and we will learn about it in detail there are many varieties of walnut grown in different parts of the world such as the european walnut black walnut white walnut and even japanese walnut the european walnut is the best known variety and is grown in india in kashmir himachal pradesh uttar pradesh and in hilly areas of punjab walnut fruit has a leathery exocarp and a woody ring cult and two halved endocarp enclosing a four lobed corrugated oily edible kernel when the fruit ripens the husk is removed the kernels are cleaned dried and graded for use walnut is one of the widely used dessert nuts with lots of uses in bakery confectionery and even in ice creams the immature green nut is used for preparing pickles chutneys and marmalades and is a very good source of ascorbic acid 100 g of walnut contains 15.6 g of proteins 64.5 g of fats 1.8 g of minerals 11 g of carbohydrates and 687 kcal energy apart from potassium phosphorus magnesium and vitamin e the walnut tree wood is also of commercial importance dear students this is the picture of brazil nut which we generally don't see in india students now we will come to know something about this new nut which is brazil nut not exactly new but for indians it is a new nut despite its name the most significant exporter of brazil nut is not brazil but bolivia where they are called almendras brazil nut is seed of a large tree that grows up to 160 feet tall in the amazon forests the seeds grow in clusters of 12 to 24 inside a large pod that looks a bit like a coconut it contains 14% proteins 11% carbohydrates and a huge quantity of fats which comes to 67% it is an excellent source of selenium and a good source of magnesium and thiamine students again we will discuss about hazelnut which is a foreign nut although hazelnuts grow in most part of britain most of the world's commercially grown hazelnuts come from turkey the nuts are oval in shape up to 2 cm in length 
with a hard brown shell. They grow in clusters of one to four nuts partially covered by husk. It is used widely for preparing alcoholic beverage and hazelnut butter. The nut is rich in fiber, calcium, potassium, magnesium and vitamin E. This slide is of chestnut. Again, it is a rare class of nuts with low protein, low fat but high carbohydrate. The chestnut is the native of southern Europe and is produced in large quantities in Spain, Italy and France. It is also cultivated in many parts of the Himalayas. It can be eaten raw but the best flavor is achieved when the nut is either boiled or roasted for 10 to 15 minutes with added salt. Nuts preserved in sugar syrups are also a delicacy. Unlike other nuts, chestnuts are rich in starch and sugar with little fat. Flour made out of chestnut is used in soups, fritters, stews and for stuffing. 100 gram of chestnut contains 10.9 grams of proteins, 1.84 grams of fats, 2.25 grams of minerals and 54.24 grams of carbohydrates. Dear students, now I will talk about the oil seeds and here I want to tell you that India is one of the major oil seed producing countries in the world. The country produces the largest quantities of groundnut and sesame followed by cotton seed, rapeseed mustard, coconut and soya bean. It is estimated that the oil seed in the country could provide as much as 1.7 million tons of proteins which is more than what is now available through animal products like milk, egg, meat and fish. Based on oil seeds, a number of food products have been developed to improve the diets of people, particularly children. This is a picture of the oil seeds which are generally used for the extraction of oil as well as for different culinary purposes. Dear students, now we will discuss the oil seeds used in India in detail. Different types of oil seeds are used for the extraction of oil like groundnuts, rapeseed mustard, sesame, cotton seed, coconut, sunflower, soya bean, niger, flax seeds, etc. The oil seed cake or meal is deficient in amino acid methionine but is rich in amino acid lysine. This oil seed cake is used for preparing multi-purpose food for different feeding programs. Combination of oil seed cake, cereals and pulses can be used for the preparation of high protein weaning foods of low cost. Now students, I will tell you something about the nuts and oil seed based protein enriched foods. The first very popular food is balanced malt food. This is prepared by blending 40% cereal malt, 40% groundnut flour and 10% each of Bengal gram flour and skimmed milk powder. The second product which can be made is enriched macaroni products. They are blends of groundnut flour generally 30%, wheat flour also 30% and tapioca flour 40% and sometimes a blend of wheat flour in 75% and groundnut flour 25%. This combination can also be used for preparing enriched macaroni products. The third product which can be made out of uh, oil cakes is neutro biscuits. 
They are made from a blend of 40% wheat flour, 30% groundnut flour and 15% each of sugar and shortening. And lastly, balahar. It contains a blend of cereal flours 60%, groundnut flour 30% and sugar 10%. I want to tell you that all these preparations are fortified with vitamins and minerals and they help considerably in making up the deficiencies in the diet of children and other vulnerable groups. Dear students, up till now, I have only talked about the merits of nuts and oil seeds. Despite of so many health benefits, nuts and oil seeds have some demerits also in the form of toxic constituents present in them. Sometimes these toxic constituents are developed due to inadequate storage conditions. We will briefly discuss some of them now. The aflatoxins. They are a group of toxic fungal metabolites, mycotoxins, produced by certain molds of the genus Asparagillus, growing on a number of raw food commodities like oil seeds, groundnuts, pistachios, brazil nuts, sunflower seeds, black pepper, figs, and maize. The highest levels are usually found in commodities from warmer regions of the world where there is a great deal of climatic variation of temperature, rainfall and humidity. At high enough exposure levels, aflatoxins can cause acute toxicity and potentially death in animals and humans. The liver is the chief organ affected by aflatoxins, followed by lungs, kidneys, brains and hearts. Acute necrosis and cirrhosis of the liver is typical along with bleeding and edema. Pre-harvest control of aflatoxins is best achieved through good agricultural practices. The production of toxins can be controlled by treating with a quick lime ammonia mixture. About 100 countries around the world have regulations governing aflatoxins in food and most include maximum permitted or recommended levels for specific commodities. Lactins. Lactins are also present in some nuts and seeds and it can irritate the gut lining and even can create inflammation. Enzyme inhibitors present in them can prevent the digestion of proteins. Therefore, it is now recommended to cut down all the nuts and oil seeds from the diet of people with digestive and autoimmune problems. Phytic acid, it is a sort of anti-nutritional factor which is present in nuts, binds minerals like calcium, iron and magnesium and prevent them from being absorbed. The phytic acid content of cashews is 1,866 mg, hazelnuts 1,620 mg, almonds 1,280 mg, walnuts 760 mg and cashew nuts 47 mg per 100 g of nuts. Soaking nuts overnight in salted water is an easy way to get rid of most of the phytic acid and other anti-nutrients also. After soaking nuts, they can be rinsed, dried in sun or dehydrated and then stored for future use. Another toxin which is generally found in cotton seed is gossipal. It is produced by the pigment glands of cotton seed and sperm. It is largely removed during oil refining and certain varieties of cotton seeds which are devoid of the glands are safe from this toxin. Lastly students I would like to discuss about PUFA also. PUFA that is polyunsaturated fat. As we all know that nuts are rich in polyunsaturated fat. I would like to state that high amount of polyunsaturated fat 
present in nuts also contribute to chronic and metabolic diseases like diabetes, heart diseases and obesity if nuts are consumed in greater quantities along with fructose that is fruit sugar. So, dear students, we have come to the end of this session and I would like to summarize by saying that nuts and oil seeds are energy dense foods rich in bioactive macronutrients, micronutrients and phytochemicals. The unique composition of nuts is critical for their health effects. Some great choices include almonds, pistachios, walnuts, cashew nut, ground nuts, flake seeds and sesame. They are a good choice for the vegetarians to add superior quality of proteins to their diet. They can be used as such or can be added to all sweet and salty preparations to enhance their flavor as well as nutritive value. Their shelf life is good due to their low moisture content. Oil seeds are principally used for oil extraction. The remaining oil seed cake is used as a cattle feed as well as a part of nutritious food mixes to overcome malnutrition in vulnerable groups. Thank you.